up guys uh, today I'm gonna be installing these Canon drop-in filters for the uh, 370Z and uh, also this fourth brake light that I got from ijdm.com so I'm gonna install the drop-in filters first because that's gonna take me about five minutes Basically, I have to open these two clips and then slide it up. It's that easy. That's why they're called drop in filters. How dirty that is. Just gonna grab the filter, just put it in here like that, and then slide it back in. Literally takes five minutes and then I'm using one hand but basically you just have to clip this back in just like that and the other side as well and this is what I took out these are cheap uh, paper filters and now I'm gonna be installing the fourth brake light but I'm gonna move the car around first so it's gonna be easier for me to work but before I do that, let's see if it makes any difference in sound. Now I will be installing the light. I'm gonna go over the wires first. So basically you're gonna open up everything. Open this panel, just this panel. You don't have to open the other side. And to take this light out there's one eight millimeter bolt inside which i will show you guys later and there's two i think 10 millimeters over here but uh for the wires um the red wire is gonna go to the green wire the green wire is gonna go to the red the white one is for the reverse light and the black one is for the black um i do have the light over here some people have a reflector but this is actually a light that i can turn on so I have to see which wires I have to take out and uh, I will show you guys that. So to open these panels you have to take everything out. Um, and then you have to open all the clips and then just pull these up. I'm not going to show you everything. Um, I'm just going to put it on a time lapse. talking about before and these are I believe 10 
Okay, so these are the wires you're gonna be tapping into. So you gotta take out this plate that is that goes behind the the light. There is a uh, basically three clips. You have to pull them out, and then there is two ten millimeters. There's one right here, and then there's one on the other side right here. You gotta open that, and then just pull the light out. So all the other videos I've seen on YouTube, people just take out their reflectors and then they install that. But for me, this was a light. The bulb goes right here. This is the bulb. I'm just gonna take this off, put it on a side because I actually need this bracket. Uh, this brake light is gonna go in there so I can bolt it on. And the connector that's in here, this one, I'm just gonna tape it up and then Put it on a side because I have to wire it with the brake light. Now you're gonna grab this bracket, put it behind the bumper, and then put the light through and get the new um, nuts that came with that, and then just tighten this. For these wires, you're just gonna put it through the bumper and then take the tail light out and pull them. Once again, the green wire from the fourth brake light goes to the red wire and then the red wire goes to the green, black goes to black and then the white one goes to the green and the white one. I'm just gonna test if it works and then I'm gonna put everything back. Press the brakes. Okay, reverse. Okay, everything works and I'm just gonna put everything back. But before I do, I have uh, LED bulbs for the reverse lights. Uh, since everything is open, I'm just gonna change it. 